We must. I, I, I had something happen to me in a meeting just recently that I went to. And I, I shared it Sunday. We'll say it again here tonight. The Lord said to me that a multitude of people, Christian people, in America, their prayers for their nation are not working. I need to be preaching this on national television. Yeah. A multitude of God's people, listen to me, in America, Christians, their prayers are to no avail. You wonder why many people all over America are humbling themselves and praying and seeking the face of God for our nation. And I pray, are you listening? Let me, let me give you a verse of scripture. Let, let's look at it. Over there in 2nd, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 2. You, you all know it. The Lord said this to me. Just as clear as I've ever heard the voice of the Lord. He said this to my spirit. 1 Timothy, first, uh, what, what I'm saying to you. There are numbers of people, a multitude of people, Christian people, in America, praying for the nation and wondering why things are not changing in their nation. Wondering why that God has not changed our nation, healed our nation, brought restoration to our nation, changed our leaders, changed our government, changed the wickedness and ungodliness, healed our land. Humbling ourselves, praying, seeking the face of God. We left that one part. Turning from our wicked ways. Amen. I used to always say this. Lord forgive me for my prayerlessness. Forgive me for not praying enough. Forgive me for not praying as I should have. For my president. For, my, for the Supreme Court. Uh, justices. For the congressmen. For the senators. For the leaders. Forgive me for not praying enough. And then I discovered that's really not the problem. And that really not the problem. That, not, that, that, that people are not praying as, uh, enough. Amen. The biggest problem, bigger than, than the church is not praying, is that they've been praying and it's not been working. That's why so many quit praying, because their prayers didn't seem to be working. Instead of finding out why their prayers weren't working and making adjustments and turning from their wicked ways, which basically has been unforgiveness and judging and criticizing and speaking against the president. Amen. We probably, every one of us in here would probably have to say, oh me there. Lord forgive me. Amen. Because of the things that have been done in our leadership and, uh, and a lot of it against Christians and against the church and against the, our God and our Christ, we take a stand and we think we're right, but we're wrong. Amen. When we say the things we say when we need to be praying for them, and I'll tell you how the Lord told me to correct it. He said, just as soon as you start praying, just as soon as you start praying, right here, look, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings or presidents, for all that in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior who would have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. He said the first thing you do when you start praying for the governor, the president, the governor, the mayor, the leaders is say, Lord, I forgive them. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Just start right off there. I forgive them. And then you pray for them for wisdom and direction and for them to, for their salvation, for their deliverance, for them to lead this nation in the way they should. However, you want to pray. And I suggest uh, praying much in the Spirit and in the Holy Ghost. Uh, let the Holy Ghost help you to pray because you don't know what to pray for as you ought. Uh, but if you don't forgive first, you can pray in the Spirit till your tongue falls out. And it won't be worth 15 cents worth of nothing. Like my daddy used to say. It won't be worth a hill of beans. Amen. Now, I believe if, if the people of this nation and any nation will hear this, we can change a nation. Glory to God. We've got to forgive these people. If our prayers for them are going to avail much. If our prayers for the nation is going to work. Hallelujah. 
But you see, but let's just do this. Let's just right now say, Father, just all of you pray however you want to, but just kind of follow this, follow my lead here. Father, forgive me where I have not forgiven others. Lord, especially where I have not forgiven, according to your word, I have not truly forgiven from the heart the leaders of my nation, the congressmen, senators, Supreme Court justices, the president, the vice president, governors, mayors, those that have made the laws. Lord, those that are taking rights away, those that have done this and that, and I've continued to talk about and criticize and judge and I've continued to speak against and speak evil. Lord, and, and let corrupt communication proceed out of my, my mouth that was not edifying them. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, as I forgive them, as I forgive the president, as I forgive the leaders of this nation, as I forgive our government and all the men and women that make it up, I forgive them for their wrong. I forgive them for the things that they've done that's hurt our nation, that's taken things away from Christianity, that's tried to kick God and Christ out of this nation. I forgive them. And I thank you, Lord, you forgive me. And now I lift up holy hands without wrath, without doubting, without unforgiveness. And I pray, Lord, Lord, I pray for their leadership, their guidance, their direction, for wisdom. I pray, Father God, most of all, that they repent and come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that now my authority works and I do not retaliate and speak against and come against flesh and blood, but I come against uh, the devil, powers, principalities, rulers of darkness, and wicked spirits that influence the presidential office and the leaders of this nation, the congressmen and senators and Supreme Court justices. And I commend you, Satan, and all powers of evil and hell and darkness and every deceiving spirit and every, every spirit, seducing spirit and every lying spirit and every spirit in Jesus' name that works against our nation works against God and Christ and every anti-Christ spirit I pray your power in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, I forgive flesh and blood. I love them. I pray for them. I bless them. I do good to them. And in the name of Jesus, I come against the, the, the powers and principalities and evil spirits. And in Jesus' name, most of all, I command the devil to take the blinders off their minds that they can see the light of the glorious gospel and be saved. Lord, send labors unto them. Send labors unto them. So that they preach the gospel to them, to minister to them. Lord, I pray that they receive you. Uh, they believe in their heart. They confess with their mouth. They receive you as Lord and Savior. Angels go and influence them. Protect them and deliver them and bring them to the, to the kingdom. Bring them to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, as the church. I pray, we pray together tonight for this revelation. Lord, for this, for the church of America to see this revelation, Lord, that we must forgive our leaders if our prayers are going to be effective and productive and avail much for them and for our nation. Help us to walk in love and forgiveness and for not only toward them but toward everyone. So our prayers can be heard and answered. Uh, the prayer of faith will, will, will work for us. Uh, we can ask and receive, seek and find and knock and doors can be opened up to us. Uh, our supplications, our prayers, our intercessions, uh, our giving of thanks, Lord, uh, will please you, will be heard on high, will be answered. Glory to God, you'll be able to do exceeding abundantly above all.
you restore our land. Lord, bring this revelation to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ all over this nation and other nations that they might change their nation for your glory. Hallelujah. You are not teasing us with those words. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek their face and turn from our wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. We forgive. Lord, we, 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 we turn from our wicked ways and we forgive so you can forgive us, so you can hear us, so you can answer us. All of us today, we make a decision. If we have a grudge in our heart tonight, if we have ill will, unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, hatred, strife in our heart toward any person, a relative, someone we live with, someone we work with, go to school with, Someone we know, someone that's hurt us, mistreated us, wronged us, despitefully used us, persecuted us. Lord, help us now to say, I forgive them. By faith, I forgive them. I forgive them with your love, your grace, your power and ability. You have me. Lord, to forgive them. Just keep on forgetting that until it's a thing in the past. Help me to forgive them by praying for them. Help me to forgive them by blessing those that curse me. Praying for those that hate, for, hate me. Doing good to those that despite me, use me and persecute me. Love even as you love. I make that adjustment. I make that change. Thank you, Lord. You forgive me. And my prayers and my faith avail much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I walk in health. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I can lift up. Let's lift our hands together right now and say, Thank you, Lord. That now I can lift up holy hands without any wrath, without any anger, without any doubt. Hallelujah. And you hear me. You answer me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Glory to God.